A Igreja Adventista no Mundo lançou o projeto Mission to the Cities, adotado pela Igreja na América do Sul como missão para as grandes cidades. Nesta entrevista especial de ASNTV, vamos conversar com o pastor Mark Finley. Ele é um dos coordenadores deste de projeto e também evangelista internacional. Acompanhe esta entrevista. Pastor Mark Finley, it's a privilege to have you here with us. Welcome. Thank you very much. Pastor, I have here the first question for you. What is the new in the mission to the cities project? The cities of our world have been growing rapidly. Multiplied millions of people have been moving into the cities. Seventh-day Adventists have always been interested in the cities. But For some years, many Adventists have fled the cities because we've thought, you know, the cities are corrupt, the cities are filled with evil. But the truth of the matter is that Jesus loves cities. And the reason Jesus loves cities is because people live in cities. Now, it's very true that we have to be careful to guard our families and that we do have counsel to live outside the cities. But that doesn't mean abandon the cities. That doesn't mean leave the cities. So the new emphasis is a refocus on the cities, that God is calling us into the cities to have our churches as centers of influence, to have health centers and vegetarian restaurants, and to have a major impact in the cities through our television, through our literature. What is new is the emphasis on reaching the major population bases where people live. So the word is emphasis, right, for this project? That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor, how can Adventist member can be involved in the initiative of personal level? I think there are really three things that every Adventist can be involved in. One, let's suppose you do not live in a city. As a family, as a church, you can choose a city to pray for. And so you can make this city an object of prayer just as Jesus prayed over the city of Jerusalem. So as an Adventist, you can choose a city. Living in Brazil, you can choose a city like São Paulo, a city like Belém, a city like Minas Gerais, a Curitiba. You can pray for that city. Living in Argentina, you can pray for Buenos Aires or Chile, Santiago, Lima, Lima right? whatever city in our division. <laughs> so we can, we can choose to pray for a city. I think secondly, members living in a city can develop relationships with their friends and neighbors. People living in the cities are starved for relationships. We live in a very technological age. You see people eating together. And what are they doing? Looking at their cell phone, not talking together. We can use that technology, yeah, right? <laughs> yes, yes, we can use technology, but technology should never replace personal relationships. Uh -huh, interesting. So in, in, in the cities, people are starved for somebody to get their arm around them, somebody to visit them. So I think that Adventist members providing relationships, providing relationships, uh, getting friendly with people, I think that's the second thing they can do. Thirdly, I think we can use every means to spread our gospel to the cities, whether it's television, whether it's giving out literature, whether it's inviting people to church. So I would say pray, develop relationships, and give people an invitation. Very interesting, Pastor. Obviously, uh, we want to have uh, a good results. So, what is the biggest secret to, to success? I think there are a number of secrets. I wouldn't, I wouldn't limit it to one. I think prayer is a major one. If you look at the New Testament, the disciples really prayed earnestly that God would give them a message for the cities and a message for people. And so I would think that, that without prayer, not much is going to happen. So little groups praying at our churches, little groups praying in homes, asking God to move powerfully. I think that's, that's a key. I think there's a second key, and that is all of our prayers lead us to work. And the more we broaden the base, the more effective we are going to be for Jesus. And so as churches open their doors for health programs, for family life programs, for Bible study seminars, I think if the church is very narrow in its approach, it only has one approach, it's not going to reach many people. Some approaches for young people, some approaches for business people, small groups. Many different approaches are going to reach different people. And I think thirdly, uh, reaping events, like we have in South America, 
one week of evangelism at Easter time, one week of evangelism at uh, the end of the year. It gives our members opportunity to invite people. So multifaceted approaches is the word. Pastor, almost to close the interview, could you share with us some testimony of, from the Mission to the City Project? Sure. I think there are two city, uh, three cities that come to mind for me. One is New York City. New York City is very difficult for evangelism. And uh, a number of years ago, 2013, Pastor Wilson and I and Pastor Robert Costa and others participated there. And we went into New York City, worked there for some one year time, going back and forth, training. And our pastors were involved, our administrators were involved. Over 50 new churches were started and 6,000 people were baptized. I mean, it's just amazing in New amazing. York City. Yeah. And then I think of Dublin, Ireland. Um, we went into Dublin in Ireland and, you know, it, very difficult, European, secular culture. And we saw God do some amazing things in there. He sent people to the meetings and the church grew in Dublin. And uh, another city, very interesting, Chennai, India. In Chennai, 15 years ago, we had 12 churches and 750 members. But we concentrated on Chennai with Bible workers, with health programs, with evangelistic meetings, with media. And today, 15 years later, where we had 12 churches and 750 members, today we have about 170 churches in Greater Chennai and about 24, 25,000 members. So God is doing something in the cities. The Lord is working miracles. Praise the Lord, Pastor. Pastor, uh, now to close the inter interview, uh, what is your message for the evangelist? What I would say to you is this, believe that it is possible in the place that you live. If you do not believe it's possible, it will not be possible. So believe that it's possible. Believe that God can use you. Believe that you're God's man or God's woman. If God has placed you in a district as a pastor, believe that God has put you there to grow his kingdom and go out in the confidence and faith of God. If you're an administrator, think broadly Believe that God wants you not simply to mark time, not simply to occupy a position, but that God wants you to do something special for Him. If you are a lay person, believe that God has called you as a witness, as an ambassador for Him, that there's somebody at your work, somebody in your neighborhood that you can touch for Jesus. If you're a student, a university student, believe God has put you in that classroom because there's somebody else there that needs to know Jesus. Let God shape your mentality that above all, you are a witness for the kingdom. That today, there's somebody that God wants to lead into your life. Pray that you'll be that person of destiny, that you will be God's mouth to witness to others. And Jesus will do wonderful things through your life. Thank you, Pastor Mark Finley. Thank you. Obrigada por acompanhar esta entrevista e até a próxima edição do ASN TV. Um grande abraço.